Welcome to the future of electric cars. In 2023, electric cars are revolutionizing the way we drive. With longer range, faster charging and more advanced technology, electric cars are the way of the future. In this video, we will show you the newest and upcoming electric cars of 2023, from luxury to economical models. Get ready to explore the cutting edge of electric cars and experience the future of driving. Number 10, we have Fisca Ocean. Don't confuse the new Fisker car company for the old one. It's led by the same Hendrik Fisker, but it's an all-new operation aimed at bringing to market a range of electric vehicles like the Fisker Ocean SUV, which will be its first. Price to start from 37,499 USD, the Ocean that you can buy in 2023. The top tire Ocean Extreme will start from 68,999 USD for your money you will get a uniquely styled compact crossover with up to 350 miles of range. Also available in all-wheel drive and 0 to 60 miles in as little as 3.6 seconds. Let's talk about some of its features. Ride the sunshine. With the Fisca Ocean's revolutionary full-length solar sky roof, you can harvest the sun's ray to generate free energy to support the vehicle's battery-powered motor. When fully exposed to the sun, the Fisca Ocean Extreme Solar Sky can produce up to 1500 clean emission-free miles per year and under ideal conditions may increase to beyond 2000 miles, all powered by pure sunshine. Your Fisca Ocean is a mobile power source. PowerShare connects your Fisca Ocean charge port to another EV to give a fellow EV owner an emergency boost. A screen that's revolutionary. Experience the digital wandering of innovative revolve rotating center screen. This exclusive optional 17.1 inch touch screen has the power to swivel from a control mode, a portrait view to Hollywood mode. A landscape of 16 is to 9 wide screen format allowing you to enjoy movie and videos complete with 360 degree sound in an impressive cinematic experience. Unparalleled parking technology. Park my car. Fisker's automatic parking assist system scan the parking area using ultrasonic sensor and surround cameras to help you find a perfect size spot. Then your Fisker Ocean autonomously park itself, either parallel to the curb or in an angle spot. This optional feature can also detect obstacles in your path, such as pedestrian, poles and other cars, and automatically apply the brakes. On to the number 9, we have 2024 Chevrolet Blazer EV. Blazer EV is the complete package with style, performance and technology. Available in multiple trims, colors and battery ranges, this daring new all-electric mid-size SUV is built from the ground up around the game-changing Altium battery platform. Altium offers flexible in charging speed, range, and performance, giving the sporty Blazer EV the sheer power and confidence needed to go the distance. Whether you are driving around town or across the country, Blazer EV offers a GM estimated range up to 247 to 320 miles on a full charge. Skip the gas station and conveniently charge up your Blazer EV from home. With the dual level charge cord, you will have flexible at home charging that easily fit your daily routine and driving needs. Now let's talk about pricing. The base Blazer EV start at 44,995 USD while pricing for the Blade SS will start from 65,995 USD. Now on to the number 8, we have 2023 Cadillac Lyric. Cadillac first intent into the luxury electric vehicle market is the Lyric SUV, which offers sharp styling and modern cabin. Both single motor rear wheel drive and dual motor all wheel drive models will be offered. The former offering up to 312 miles of range per charge. The Lyric has been designed from the ground up to ride on General Motors new scalable battery architecture which allows for DC fast charging as well as standard in-home connection for refilling the battery. Instead of going for outright performance, the Lyric Road Manor are more focused on comfort, quietness and luxury. The cabin is tastefully designed and spacious for passengers, but the Lyric cargo space isn't as generous as rival SUVs. Not only is Lyric a brand new number plate for American luxury brand, but it's also Cadillac's first all-electric offering. 
It's intended to go head to head with heavy hitters such as Audi e-tron, Jaguar I-Pace and Tesla Model X. The Lyrac base price, an attractive 59,990 USD is for the single motor debut edition model which comes with the limited option. That model is sold out anyway. So instead, we would recommend bringing for the 500 horsepower dual motor all wheel drive model which also boasts a 3500 pound towing capacity. The Lyric comes standard in real drive form with 340 horsepower electric motor on the rear axis. With this entry level setup, acceleration is adequate and the Lyric feel responsive but it lacks the powerful steering we enjoy in the rival SUV. At test track, the rear wheel drive Lyric made it to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds, which is fairly quick by mid-size SUV standard but behind that of EV rivals. The ride is comfortable over the smooth pavement but some may find the suspension to be a little bit too firm over rougher stretches of the road. The Lyric battery offers 102 kilowatt hour worth of capacity and offers an estimated driving range up to 312 miles per charge in the single motor model. In highway range test, the Lyric provided 270 miles of driving before needed to be recharged. Speaking of charging, DC fast charging capability is standard on all models and the Lyric is also able to charge on home power outlet as well. Now on to the number 7, we have BMW i5. BMW's electric vehicle offering includes the i4, i7 and iX and probably by mid 2023 the i5. The 2023 BMW i5 hasn't been formally confirmed but it's expected to be the all-electric futuristic counterparts to its combustion alternative the 5 series. That means a large sedan footprint, plenty of interior space and comfortable and handling the strikes a balance between executive cruiser and sports sedan. Look for the 2023 BMW i5 to debut this summer. According to a report Automobile Week published on December 29, 2022, the BMW i5 will debut in mid-2023. Previously on October 10, 2022, BMW have reconfirmed that the i5 is arriving in 2023. By the end of next year, the company plans to have at least one EV on sale in roughly 90% of its current market segment. As per an announcement dated December 7, 2021, the US launch on BMW i5 could take place on second quarter of 2024. Now let's talk about the pricing. It could be priced starting at 65,000 to 70,000 USD in the United States of America. Now on number 6, we have Jeep Avenger EV. The Jeep Avenger has been on our radar for a while now. We caught our first glimpse of it back in March with Jeep parent company Stellantis announced its future EV plans. A lot was said, but what really caught our attention was the image of chunky yellow model that accurately previewed the Avenger appearance. At the Avenger core is a 400 volt electric system that pairs within a single electric motor powering the front wheels. A dual motor, all wheel drive 4x4 model is reportedly coming too. Oddly enough, there will also be a gas engine option available at the launch but it will only be offered in Italy and Spain. Regardless, the front drive Avenger EV has 152 horsepower and 192 pound-feet of torque. Its electric motor draws power from a lithium-ion battery pack with a gross capacity of 54 kilowatt hour. The Jeep's DC fast charging speed tops out at 100 kilowatt, and that's said to take the battery from 20 to 80 percent in approximately 24 minutes. Inside, the Avengers cabin featured a clean dashboard design that highlighted by a body color panel that connects the front pillar and includes integrated air vents. Along with a 10.3 inch touchscreen infotainment system, the driver faces either a 7 or 10.3 inch digital gauze cluster. There is also a partial shelf bisecting the dash that provides a perfect place to store small items. The front of the center console has a unique foldable magnetic cover, and the space it protects has a wireless charging pad and can hold a 1.5 liter bottle. Need to store bigger stuff? The rear cargo area will swallow 13 cubic feet of junk. While a tiny electric Jeep is cool, especially one that looks like an Avenger, we weren't too bent out of shape about its forbidden fruit status. At least not until we saw the rad Avenger 4x4 concept that Jeep also revealed at the Paris Auto Show. 
which feature wider fenders, a wider track as well as a chunkier tire. On number 5, we have the mighty GMC Hummer EV. A brand new Hummer is something we never thought we'd see on American roads again. But the off-road brand was reborn last year as an electric pickup truck called the GMC Hummer EV. This version is no fuel economic minded model. It's powered by a 1000 horsepower electric power train, can sprint to 60 mile per hour in just 3.3 seconds and can brute force its way through pretty much any terrain. Thanks to a rear wheel steering system, the Hummer EV can more easily be maneuvered around obstacles and it can even drive sideways using its novel crab driving mode when rivals such as the Ford F-150 Lightning offer more traditional pickup truck practically, the Hummer EV is more toy than tool. For now, the only powertrain available in the Hummer EV is a setup with three electric motors that makes 1000 horsepower. All-wheel drive is the standard. And in our testing, the Hummer EV rocketed to 60 miles per hour in 3.3 seconds thanks to its watts the Freedom Launch Control driving mode. While we were wowed by its acceleration, we were disappointed by its braking performance, slowing all the Hammer EVs mass down to a stop from 70 miles per hour to an extra long 211 feet and repeated run result in negotiable brake fades. Yikes. Maneuverability at low speed is better than expected, a direct result of the rear wheel steering system. But once you are up and running, the Hummer EV is a widely to drive as other lifted bulldozer. The Hummer EV uses GM's new Ultimum battery pack technology and boasts an estimated 329 miles of driving range per charge. In our testing, we observed 290 miles during an all-highway range test at 75 miles per hour. The Hummer uses an 800 volt electric architecture with 350 kilowatt fast charging capability which GMC claims will add 100 miles of range in just 10 minutes. For buyer who don't have any DC fast charging station nearby, the Hummer EV can also charge on regular public charging terminal or at home via provided adapters, but charging time are significantly slower. Now on to the pricing, the Hummer EV SUV will start from the 79,995 USD with loaded models costing more than 100,000 USD. Don't expect to get one soon if you haven't already reserved it, as there is already a long wait list. Moving on to the number 4, we have 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 6. Hyundai is aiming to compete with the Tesla Model 3 with its latest EV model. A sedan called the Ioniq 6. This four door fits into the company's Ioniq sub brand made up of electric vehicles and shear component with the taller and boxier Ioniq 5. This means single and dual motor configuration will be offered with a single battery pack option. In combination with aerodynamic shapes, the standard 77.4 kWh battery pack means the 6 will provide an estimated 340 miles of driving range in a certain configuration. It also offers a more luxurious interior than the Model 3 and features more onboard technology when compared with Hyundai, Gas Power, Sonata and Elantra sedans. The Ioniq 6 is a new addition to the lineup. It will slot in numerical in between the Ioniq 5 and the upcoming Ioniq 7, but is a sedan with a more low slung profile than those taller crossovers. We expect the Ioniq 6 to be slightly more expensive than the Ioniq 5, which start at 40,925 USD. It's likely to offer similar trim level, although its powertrain configuration differ from the 5s. The 6 offer a single battery pack option and either a rear wheel drive, single motor setup or an optional dual motor all wheel drive version. The Ioniq 6 share a platform with the Ioniq 5. Its powertrain mostly mirror that Modelings offer. The base model makes 225 horsepower and has a single electric motor powering the rear wheels. The more expensive 320 horsepower dual motor version provides all-wheel drive thanks to front and rear electric motors. Hyundai claims the more powerful setup can propel the Ioniq 6 to 60 miles per hour in just 5.1 seconds. The Ioniq 6 should offer around 340 miles of driving range for a single motor version and 310 miles for the dual motor version, 
although an official EPA rating hasn't been released yet for either one. Now moving on to the number 3, we have Lexus RZ. Lexus is getting into the EV game with RZ450e. This being a Lexus, it's sporting a more sposa carrying to go along with its more upscale exterior styling. Although it's here its 65.6 kW battery pack with the BZ4X, the Lexus powertrain is a more powerful dual motor setup that is good for 308 horsepower. The luxury brand called this powertrain Direct 4 which offers standard all-wheel drive. The RZ's exterior is sharply styled with a floating roof and aggressive headlamps. The cabin take a more minimalist approach in its design with more control being operated through a large 14-inch touchscreen infotainable display. The RZ will be an all-new intern in the Lexus lineup for 2023 and the brand first all-electric offering. We are guessing on price here, but we think Lexus will offer the RZ450e in standard and F-Sport dreams. Lexus hasn't revealed a pricing yet, but we know that a hosting of desirable feature will be standard including a panoramic sunroof, adaptive cruise control, a head-up display and more. The RZ450e will be priced around 55,000 USD and F Sport trims around 60,000 USD. The RZ450e is powered by an all electric powertrain the Lexus called Direct 4. This dual motor arrangement is good for 308 horsepower and comes standard with all wheel drive. We estimate that the RZ450e will make it to 60 miles per hour in about 5.5 seconds. A steer by wire system is standard, and Lexus has confirmed that a yoke style steering wheel will be offered as an option. A regular circular wheel will be standard, so if you are not ready for a York, you will be able to option out. The steer by wire system takes getting used to, but once you got the hang of it, it proves to be beneficial for handling. The RZ450 will use the same 65.6 kWh battery pack as the BZ4X and Soltira which should deliver around 225 miles of driving range per charge according to Lexus. On number 2, we have Kia EV9. The Kia lineup is about to transform into something more electric. The EV9 SUV which looks to be as large as the current gas-only 3-row Tellurides share its platform with the upcoming Hyundai Ioniq 7. While it is still too early for specific details, we think the EV9 will likely be offered with the rear and all-wheel drive depending on the trim level. Kia hasn't released information about the EV9's battery size or motors, but to be competitive, they will need to offer something with 220 to 300 miles of range on a single charge with usable towing capacity with as much as 4500 pounds of max tailoring. At least we have got this funky concept to drool over while we wait for Kia to release detail about the mid-size EV. The EV9 is an all-new nameplate for Kia brand and the next in the company plan to have 11 new electric vehicles for sale by 2026. We expect to see a production version of B9 debuted in 2023. There is no official pricing available for the Kia EV9s yet, but we expect to see competitive pricing starting at roughly 56,000 USD for the lowest trim. The trim name and level are yet to be determined, though it's likely to follow a similar picking order as what's already been established from the smaller EV6 SUV that's currently on sale. Official horsepower and performance numbers are still closely guarded at the Kia headquarters, but rumors suggest a simple offering. We expect lower EV trim equipped with single motor to offer roughly 200 horsepower with rear wheel drive. All wheel drive will double the motors, putting an additional unit up front that could at least double the horsepower output to 400. Since it's based on the gas only tail ride, expect the EV9 to build to focus on range and hauling instead of acceleration performance. Kia claims a 300 mile driving range for EV9 and says the SUV will also be able to charge on 350 kilowatt fast charging station. We aren't sure what size battery pack will come standard or if a larger one may be available as an option but we should find out that information closer to the SUV's on sale date. Now on top of the list we have 
2024 Audi Q8 e-tron. If you are currently driving an Audi Q7 or Q8 SUV but are considering going EV next time around, the 2024 Q8 e-tron will provide you with an easy transition. Its design and overall vibe are similar to the rest of the luxury automaker's lineup. So the only element to adjust to is the powertrain. Two electric motors provide all-wheel drive and up to 402 horsepower. Acceleration is strong but not as rushed as in rifle short rivals like the BMW iX, Jaguar I-Pace or Tesla Model X. If you are up for a quicker version Q8 e-tron, there is an SQ8 e-tron which offered 496 horsepower high-tech feature dot the Q8 e-tron host cabin which is something Audi loyalties have come to expect. There are two body styles to choose from, the standard Q8 e-tron and the sportier. Fastback Q8 e-tron sports back, but neither shout about their eco-friendliness. In fact, they couldn't look more conventional. Whichever body style you choose, the Q8 e-tron comes with a body pack that provides a usual real-world driving range that promises to be competitive with that of the other luxury EV SUVs. Plus, it can be charged quickly at a public charging station if you are traveling long distances. Audi hasn't released pricing information on the 2024 Q8 e-tron models, but in the past, we have recommended the entry-level premium trim since they offer a comprehensive suite of standard features at reasonable for a luxury EV SUV price. When learn more about how each trim will be priced and equipped, we'll update this story with those details. But it is said to be cost around 87,000 USD. Beneath the Q8 e-tron heavily creased bodywork are two electric motors, one located at the front axis and the other at the rear. Together, they provide electronic all-wheel drive, but the rear motor does most of the work. In regular driving situation, they make a combined 355 horsepower and 414 pound-feet of torque. However, putting the shifter into sports mode briefly unlocks 402 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque. Our driving impressions reveal that the Q8 e-tron was swift and composed. Its snappy acceleration is typically of electric vehicles, and the smooth, quite right quality confirm its luxury bona fides. Its stopping system expertly blended its traditional friction braking with the obligatory regenerative braking system. However, we were disappointed that its regain wasn't aggressive enough to enable one pedal driving. Still, the Q8 e-tron demonstrates traditional SUV character with ability to tow up to 4,000 pounds. Audi says the Q8 e-tron 106 kWh battery pack should provide up to 300 miles per charge. If that estimation is correct, that would give the Q8 e-tron competitive range estimate versus the rivals such as I-Pace and the Model X. Every e-tron features a 170 kW fast charger that allows it to replenish 80% of its battery percent in about 30 minutes. 